My name is uh, Luke Simmons. I work for Beam Construction as their superintendent. And today we're out at York Technical College building their new learning commons. Completed the uh, construction management program, took uh, all their carpentry, all their electrical, and most of their plumbing programs as well, got certificates and all those. They kind of introduce you to a little bit of everything from a estimating, scheduling, electrical, carpentry, familiarizing people, getting people to know what this is called, and I know how this is put together. Now when you get into the field, it's less of a surprise, and it's like, yeah, I've seen this before. Well, we got the parking lot over here. We've milled all the asphalt off of it to put a new surface down on it, and uh, these spots where all the machines are moving right now, it's some areas of uh, bad dirt that we've had to cut down two foot and uh, put stone back in to give a good firm base. And once they get this stone back in, graded out, we'll put new asphalt back over this whole lot right here. And then uh, we got most all the sidewalks done around the building now. What we're lacking is where you see this gravel right here, and this is gonna be the uh, new pedestrian corridor for the school. This plastic mesh is called a geo grid. And lay that down, we cut down to what the engineer tells us to cut to. We lay this geo grid down. It, Kind of firms up the base and holds everything together when we start going on top of it and then we take what this guy's doing here putting stone back in going at about eight to ten inch lifts and compacting it we get up to where the bottom edge of the asphalt is and then we'll pay back over this put a new surface here this wall here is what is considered insulated metal panels it's a two inch thick panel it locks together with tongue and groove and seals itself to where that is the actual if you took those panels down it's just raw stud framing into the inside of the building. This was all existing structure that we completely gutted. It was just a steel frame that was left and started back over. We always have expansion joints to allow the building to move with different wind loads or anything seismic, anything of that nature. Half of the exterior walls of the new side of this building are all glass. So you really lose a lot of your structure there as far as it not being as rigid if it was solid walls. When superintendent, you have a part in everything, you know about everything that's going on for the most part. Running the job site, make sure everybody's safe and run my own crews, run sub crews, schedule work. Necessary things go through to make sure these things get done. I always wanted to become a superintendent. Didn't think it was happening as fast as it did, but uh, people took knowledge of me and saw that I was good at what I was doing and I worked up through there and I've enjoyed it. It's been great. and. Uh, Still learn a lot. You always learn something new out here every day.